कारवा मिनी यदक्षरम वेद विदो वदंती विशंति यद यतयो वीतरागा यद इच्छन्तु ब्रह्मचर्यम चरन्ती तत्ते पदम संग्रहेण प्रवक्ष्ये पर्सन्स लर्नड इन द वेदास हु अटर ओमकारा एंड हु आर ग्रेट सेजेस इन द रिनाउंस्ड ऑर्डर एंटर इनटू ब्रह्म डिजायरिंग सच परफेक्शन वन प्रैक्टिसेस सेलिबसी I shall now explain to you this process by which one may attain salvation. Sarva dwarani sanyamya mano ridi nirudhya cha murdhya dhayatmana pranam astito yoga dharanam The yogic situation is that of detachment from all sensual engagements closing all the doors of senses and fixing the mind on the heart and the life air at the top of the head when establishes himself in yoga so this is called pratyahar one has to stop seeing the external beauties external forms and see the beauty of the lord within the heart one has to stop hearing all the external sounds and one has to hear the omkara from within and pulling the senses within this is called pratyahar then a person is able to advance to the stage of samadhi ओ मित्येकाक्षर ब्रह्म व्याहरन मनुस्म यति त्यजंदेह सयाति पर गति आफ्टर बींग सिचुएटेड इन दिस योग प्रैक्टिस एंड वाइब्रेटिंग द सीक्रेट सिलेबल ओम द सुप्रीम कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लेटर्स इफ वन थिंग्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड एंड क्विट्स इज बॉडी he will certainly reach the spiritual planets so om is impersonal representation of krishna so the understanding of personality of godhead requires very advanced stature in spiritual life so those who are not able to understand the person of god then for them the name krishna is name of a person who appeared 5000 years ago they take more interest in chanting om but still they have to think of the personality of godhead uh, this bhakti is important but they think that this person uh, this form is uh, not to be ultimately attained it is also an imaginative form a temporary form which is made up of maya material energy just like all of us pick up temporary forms this krishna's form is also temporary it is made up of material energy but still they have to meditate upon the form of krishna if they want to have any substantial achievement a tinge of bhakti is required everywhere whether person wants to simply do ashtang yoga merge in the body of krishna go to brahma jyoti attain whatever this tinge of bhakti is required but when a person is having pure bhakti then he does not go for some impersonal liberation but goes to have a personal form for himself and he sees personally supreme lord face to face so such persons they chant om and uh, then they go and merge either in the brahma jyoti or in the body of krishna but if they are able to understand this om is nothing but krishna only his impersonal representation and in this way they are able to think of the supreme personality of godhead understanding this form is not illusory made up of material energy that is completely spiritual then they are also able to attain the spiritual kingdom so thus it is completely a matter of consciousness two yogis are sitting both are chanting om leaving their bodies but it depends upon consciousness both may be thinking of krishna one is thinking of krishna as some temporary form another is thinking of krishna as an eternal sachidananda form the end results are different ananya cheta satatam yo mam smarati nitya shah tasya ham sulabha partha nitya yuktasya yoginah For one who remembers me without deviation I am easy to obtain O son of Pritha because of his constant engagement in devotional service So here unalloyed pure devotional service is being explained The in the previous verses these past impersonalists also can take they can also sit put the pranavayu in between the eyebrows and raise the soul to the top of the head and then uh, go for the spiritual atmosphere they may attain impersonal liberation also but here pure devotional path is recommended ananya cheta satatam one who remembers me without deviation satat means constantly mam smarti nitya shah 
माइंड इज एब्जॉर्ब इन मी कॉन्शियसनेस इज एब्जॉर्ब इन मी तस्या हम अहम मीन्स आय तस् टू देम सुलभा सुलभा मीन्स वेरी इजिली अटेनेबल द प्रीवियस प्रोसेस वी सो इट्स नॉट ईजी गोइंग इन द माउंटेन्स एंड डूइंग अस्टांग योग अर्जुन आर रिजेक्टेड सो अर्जुना मे आस्क दैट कृष्णा वाई यू आर अगेन टेलिंग दिस टू मी आई जस्ट टू लाइक एन नॉट डू दिस सो कृष्ण इज टेलिंग नो सो दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑर्डिनेरली इफ अ पर्सन हैज नो प्रॉपर अटैचमेंट फॉर मी देन यू हैव टू कंट्रोल यूर सेंसेज डू दिस आर्टिफिशियल मैकेनिकल प्रोसेस सो दैट द माइंड एंड बॉडी डो नॉट गेट पुल्ड अवे बाय द मटीरियल नेचर सो ब्रिंग इट इन अ स्टेट ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम नो डिस्टर्बेंस बट द डिवोटीज हु आर नित्य युक्त से योगी ना दोज योगीज हु आर ऑलवेज एंगेज इन माई सर्विस constantly absorbed in thoughts of me for them i am easily attainable they need not bother about this uh, external arrangements mamu petya punar janma dukhalayam shashvatam napnuvanti mahatmanah samsiddhim paramam gata after attaining me the great souls who are yogis in devotion never return to this temporary world which is full of miseries because they have attained the highest perfection important word used in this verse is dukhalayam ashashvatam why we are so much engaged day in and out because we think if i work in this fashion i will become happy i will get sukha but the supreme creator has put a label on this world in this creation and that label is krishna has mentioned here dukhalayam ashashvatam this place is dukh alay alay means abode and dukha means misery this place is abode of miseries now if we go to mental asylum and we want to find a sane person there that is not the nice place we'll be frustrated similarly if you want happiness here in this world we will only meet with more and more frustration because this place is dukhalayam always there will be misery in this place and that is why we have realized in our life the whole world they are now having uh, departments of consciousness this is the course most enrolled and in some of the ivy league colleges people want to understand now we have studied enough of technology and other subjects now please teach us how do we become happy happiness course curriculums are there in many good schools now people want to explore so krishna is telling rest assured you will never be happy in this world because this world is dukhalayam it is full of miseries you may tell no i am very happy i am situated not uh, it's why you are so pessimistic we are not pessimistic Uh, you might be happy for some time but krishna is telling ashashvatam that situation is temporary that so called happiness is also illusory what we are feeling but even if one is satisfied in that krishna is telling ashashvatam we all know that is temporary by force of time this situation will go away so we have to understand in this material world there is only misery so if we are planning after some time i'll be happy no the solution is to move away from this material world asatoma sadgama to the spiritual world transport ourselves human life is meant for tapasya and if one is very sincere one meets a pure devotee even in this life one can even though the body is visible in this material dimension person will be completely undisturbed if we are situated on spiritual dimension this training we need to acquire as soon as possible if you want to become happy now before death in this life so for a devotee vishwam purnam sukhayate for him entire world is full of happiness because even though the body appears to be present in this visible dimensions the soul the person proper is always absorbed on spiritual plane so if we are also able to transport ourselves to the spiritual plane we will not be conscious of this physical miseries around us so how to elevate ourselves to the spiritual plane even by living within this body this is the art which is called krishna consciousness so this we need to learn so they are called great souls who know this art mahatma who are the mahatma they attain some siddhi the top most perfection of life and such people na apnuvanti they don't come back to this material world which is full of repeated birth and death 
maam upetya because they have attained me those people who attain personal association of krishna they don't return to this material world 